What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report without you guys. As well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great Taco Tuesday. And we are here. I'm, I'm coming back from the dump and headed back over to work on this roof and get shit done. But we have some news on the Dallas Cowboys because we always have news on the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Rico. Rico has been basically named running back numero uno after his uh, best performance as a NFL pro with, uh, I believe, 83 yards this past week. Um, some of that is Rico probably getting comfortable, and I think some of that is the offensive line uh, playing better with Tyler Guyton at tackle. Um, what's going to be interesting is to see what we do going forward if Tyler Guyton is going to be the left tackle for a while. Um, you know, we don't know the severity of Tyler Guyton's injury and how long he's going to be out. But ultimately, they may be better off having uh, Tyler Smith to tackle. The way I look at it right now is, let's be honest with ourselves. Right now, the hierarchy for the Cowboys offensive line has to be Tyler Smith is our best offensive lineman, followed by Zach Martin. But you're beginning to see... Zach Martin is is not what he used to be anymore. Um, then I'm going to say Cooper Beebe. Cooper Beebe is our number three offensive lineman right now. And um, then you would say Terrence Steele and Tyler Guyton. Now, I haven't put Josh Ball in there yet because he's only had uh, one game of playing at uh, guard. So it's still a little early to tell, but... Um, that's where I would say we are with our offensive line. So, I mean, Tyler Guyton and um, Terrence Steele are about the same. And the problem with Tyler Guyton um, is having him on that left side, which is critical to protect that quarterback's blind side. Um, and you can see they were doing a better job at opening up holes and holding on to their blocks um, with Josh Ball in there. And I'm not a please, 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 do not take this that I'm saying that Tyler Guyton is a bust or anything like that. Not everybody starts off out the box being like Micah Parson was. Sometimes it takes some time to get your feet wet and are able to really get yourself going. So, you know, just be cool. Just be cool. Stop with the he's a bust, wasted draft pick, because I know that's what you guys will do. Uh, you guys did that with Mozzie. And right now, Mozzie, last week, four tackles. Three tackles the week before, three tackles before that. Um, Mozzie has turned the narrative around. He's already got 10 tackles in the last three games. Uh, I know that doesn't seem like a lot if you're comparing him to a linebacker. For an interior defensive lineman, that's really good. And if he continues to pro progress, uh, you may see him being better than Jordan Davis. Just saying. I'm just saying. So just give it some time, people. Give it some time and some seasoning, and it'll come around. Alrighty, good people. Whew, at least it's not hot out. In fact, it's kind of chilly. It's only 63 degrees right now, but you don't want to be doing a roof when it's like 90, 95. I can tell you that right now. Have a great day, and uh, I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.